was born and raised in Bladen, it's just over the river. It wasn't the best upbringing. Always arguments, abusive dad, jobless mom, a sister with her own issues, and a little brother that made me sister would very often look after myself. When I when I was nine, me um, me dad commit suicide. And um, that was a big hit for obviously not just me, but the entire family. Um, it, it, it took me a while to recover. And I wasn't really going anywhere with life. Um, I was quite down and depressed. It would be constant, everyday thoughts of suicide. Um, my mental health was like a maze. Every time I thought I was getting somewhere, I would hit a dead end and have to go right back to the beginning. But obviously I went to college and, and that's where I found the HITS programme and it did turn it all around, uh, especially Dave, who uh, led the programme. Um, how down to earth and just chilled out he was. It was a very different, I suppose, experience from school, which um, I didn't get on with very well at all. It helped us stick in college and attend and keep going to the HITS sessions. Once I joined the HITS programme, I realised how happy I was that I didn't follow through with any of those thoughts and that life really can get better no matter who you are and what you've been through. Life before HITS was, was quite bleak actually. Um, I didn't really have a lot going on. I finished school uh, and things were looking good, um, but I sort of got hit and ridiculed with quite severe mental health, uh, meaning that I was struggling to get into the workplace and really find my meaning. When I was young, I thought I had it all, all sorted out, but once I was hit with this poor mental health, I sort of started to feel a bit hopeless, and I thought that that was my life over. And at times, unfortunately, there was thoughts of suicide. Things were getting bad. I had a lovely supporting family, a lovely partner, and I thought I had everything I needed, but um, I just wasn't happy, and I just couldn't bring myself to, to do anything with my life. And I think life without hits, I'm, I'm not even sure I would be here now. Uh, with SCL, I'm doing a, a level three teaching assistant apprenticeship, getting myself ready to become a teacher, which uh, is ideally my next step uh, to qualify as a level five teacher. The best thing about the HITS programme is just having a family sort of community base, especially over the past few years with COVID and lockdowns, uh, we've been lucky enough to continue. And I think a lot of the young people here have really needed that, including myself. Uh, and also staff here. Uh, I think without it, um, we'd all have struggled a, a lot more. So we're, we're extremely lucky that we have each other. Yeah, so it's been pretty, been pretty tough the whole, whole way through. Um, I've come up into lockdowns as well, found myself out of work, um, struggled through that massively. Uh, it just got worse and worse and worse. Uh, mental health declined a lot. And I got to a point where I just felt like I didn't really know where I was going in my life anymore. So my mum was the one that helped me find hits. She was like, look, you've got to get yourself back into college. And I didn't want to go back into mainstream education or anything like that. So she had a look around, found hits. It's done absolutely wonders for me. So one day I got here and uh, my mate Connor he thought it was a good idea to wind me up. And that led to me putting a hole in the wall in the facility. And then I managed to turn that around. Instead of like, because as soon as I'd done it, I was like, what have I done here? managed to speak to the like groundskeeper there. He got me in to do some work experience, helped fix the wall, started doing stuff around the um, like around the facility and that. A month later they offered me a job. They were like, look, we like your work ethic, come work for us. And that was a step in the right direction for me. That was like one of the turning points for me. From where I was, getting the like proper support from the boys, Ben and Nick, the tutor, all I can say is it's got better, like, like it's just like, it's gone from here to here. I, I, I mean, that's put into words, like, to be honest.